Okay, let's do our warm ups and get ready for some cats. So, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor, hips nice and open, get that core active. So, bring your bottom ribs toward your spine and up and feel the lengthening along the spine and that midsection just supporting your lower back. Shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Take a few breaths, focusing inward. And as you inhale, bring the arms up to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you, clasp them, press the hands toward the floor, lift your heart, get a good back bend going. And pivot at your hips, exhale over. Bring your hands up and your head down. And take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> And then knee, <coughs> knees bend and chin in, come on up, lift your heart, shoulders down, stretch your head back and get a nice stretch into the back bend. And inhale upright, release your arms and take a moment feeling that circulation stimulating your spine. Arms reaching out, hands to your heart, Stretch to the front and bring the hands back, clasping the opposite way, other finger outside. Stretch your spine, lift your heart, pivot over, exhale, and again, hands up, head down. Take a few breaths, move your head around, get your neck releasing. And then again, knees bent and chin in. Start all the way down and inhale all the way into the back bend. Stretch back through your head, keep the shoulders down. And again, inhale up, release your arms. Take a moment, noticing your response. Arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them, turn and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears, stretch the head and fingertips out, put the shoulders down. Face the, floor, face the whole body forward and lean to the side. So get the foot you're leaning away from, pressing down, reach out through your hands and your head. And then inhale back upright and switch your hands. And again, lengthen up and lean, no twist over to the side, get those ribs stretching out. Lengthen, so lateral stretch with your spine. And then again, coming up and release your arms down. Feel a little bit more lengthening along the sides and we'll do our twists. So remember, really stretch the spine apart. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Spread your toes out, stretch your spine apart and exhale to twist. And then again, a breath in and exhale, coming over. So stay in the twist, but keep your feet evenly sinking into the earth, weight on both feet. Arms <clears throat> next to your ears, and stay in your twist coming up as you inhale. Lift your heart, elbows back, <clears throat> shoulders down. And again, stretch in the spine, Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Stretch the spine apart again, so you can twist, exhale into the other side. And again, stretch and lengthen, pivot over as you exhale. And just come as deep into that twist where we bend, keep the weight on both feet. And again, just take a few breaths. And on an inhalation, come on up, and again, upper body back, then lifting your heart, looking toward the ceiling, elbows back, shoulders down. Take a few breaths, just relax. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up in extended mountain. Let's swan dive forward. So arms out at shoulder level, stretch till your spine is straight, parallel to the floor, stretch it out. And then drop into ragdoll, just hang. 
Lift the sitting bones, get a stretch on the back of your legs. Pull in deeper if you like with your hands behind your legs. And then arms back to the front and wind your way all the way up. Shoulders back and down and again into mountain pose. Hands to your heart, looking at them, bring them toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your hands, at your thumbs, bring them back and lift your heart and go into as much back bend as you like. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart. And again, be in the process, just slowly dropping into ragdoll. Hands up on your shins, stretching that halfway up leg for me. Exhale back down, palms together, inhaling, and to your heart, back into mountain pose. Take a moment, just noticing all that stimulation warming you up. And then arms out, palms to the ceiling, look overhead, swan dive forward again. And let's come all the way down onto the mat in child's pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down, and relax. Shoulders relax toward the floor. And then come on up, hands in the front and into table position. So wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Remember, you can fold your mat if you need a little less bend in your wrist and have a little padding under the heel of your palm. Otherwise, just spread your fingers out, get good connection through your whole palm. Knees under your hips, toes straight back from your knees, shoulder blades toward your waist, Ribs up toward your spine, get nice support on that lower back. And chest a little bit down toward your thumbs so you're not punching up in the upper back. So we're gonna first just work through the whole spine. So start at your sitting bones, lift them and drop the ribs and look forward as your heart drops toward the floor a little bit into a back bend. So just feel that whole spine sinking. And then start at the sitting bones, tuck them down toward the floor, bring the ribs up, keep the shoulder blades up, and tuck in the chin, top of the head down, coming into a forward bend. And then inhale and come back to neutral and stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other. So let's do the back bend more in the upper back this time. So pick a part along your upper shoulders and heart area, and focus on bringing that down toward the floor. So just sink that upper back area, lift the sitting bones, look forward, just feel those shoulders sink. Imagine that upper body is the lowest part point in your back bend, even though it probably won't be. And then same point, push it up toward the ceiling, that upper back, Going really high, sitting bones, tailbone, tucking under, and top of the head down, arch up. And again, come back to neutral. So just lengthen through the whole spine. Now, lower back as our focus. So pick a point between your waist and hips, bring that part down toward the floor. Again, imagine that's the lowest part of your back bend as you lift your sitting bones and look forward with your face. And then lower back, raise it up toward the ceiling again. Imagine that's the highest point of your back, of your forward bend. Sitting bones down, top of the head down, just lift through that lower back area as if it's the high point of your arch. And then again, inhale back to neutral. And just as you do each of these movements, just kind of focus on where you feel that circulation increase the most. Should be right where you're focusing on. So we're going to focus on the solar plexus, right? That middle point of your torso between your ribs and meet your sternum above your knee. So right there, middle fleshy part. Bring that down toward the floor. Lift the sitting bones, look forward, crown up. And again, middle part of your back being the focus, really through those lower rib area. And then that solar plexus goes up toward the ceiling. 
And sitting bones on top of the head down, arch up through that middle back. And then again, come back to neutral. So remember, you can circle your wrists anytime you need to. It's getting a little bit too much in that wrist bend. Or you can put your fist down if that works better for you. So we're going to do that side stretch, st stretching through the ribs, just like we did when we were standing. So keep your spine nice and straight with the ribs up, supporting your lower back and the chest down so you're not punching up in the upper back. Sitting bones and cramps, stretch apart. And then just exhale, turn and look toward the foot over your shoulder. You may or may not see your foot, that's okay. And then back to the center. And again, lengthen. We're going to turn toward the other side. Everything stays straight. Feel the ribs and shoulder coming, or the hip and shoulder coming close on that side you turn toward. And remember, those ribs are stretching apart on that opposite side. And then again, turning back to the center. You just feel a little bit more lengthening through the sides. And we're going to do that same thing again. So side stretch. Exhale, walk your hands back toward your feet on one side. Again, hip and shoulder come close on that side. And the other side stretches more. Try and keep your back nice and straight as you do that. Flat toward the floor. And then walk your hands back to the middle, back into table position. Again, stretch and straighten everything, getting ready to walk your hands to the other side. So go ahead as far on that side as you want to go. Again, try and keep your back flat and maximize or minimize with that contraction on the side you're moving toward and the stretch on the opposite side. And again, hands back to the center. And we're going to do a twist just like we did when we were standing. So again, come into your table position. We're going to slide the right hand forward and bring the elbow down to the floor, right where your hand was, under your shoulder. Take that right shoulder, push it forward. So a little stretch through the side as those hips stretch back. And then exhale and turn, looking to the opposite hand or shoulder or further up toward the ceiling. So you're turning your whole spine, the hips turn slightly to the side, and you're looking slightly to the side with that shoulder lifting on the side that you're turning toward. And then exhaling, turn your head back down facing the floor, slide the hand back into position in the table, and get ready to twist the other way. So slide the left hand forward, elbow down to the floor. And again, we're going to shift that left shoulder forward, but push the hips back. And then turning, whole body turning, looking toward the opposite side, up toward the ceiling. Stretch through the spine, maximize or minimize. You're lifting the shoulder on the side you're turning towards slightly, so your chest as well as your face is looking toward the side. And again, exhale and turn back face to the floor, slide the hands back into table position. And again, maximize or minimize through that whole spine lengthening and circle your wrists again. We're going to do our balance in table pose. So slide your right foot back and bring it up to hip level. You can keep the toes reaching out through the base of the toes, or you can tuck the toes under so that they're going straight down toward the floor. And then we're going to take the left hand, opposite hand, bring it up next to your ear, and stretch the foot and the hand away from each other. Lengthen through the whole spine. Remember, you're keeping both hip bones even above the floor. So the Side, you're, you're lifting the leg arm, the hip does not turn out to the side. And then bring your hand back to the floor and your knee back down. And just give yourself a good stretch and let that wrist get a little bit of release. And then pivot back up into table position. And of course, we're going to balance and do the opposite side. 
So we're taking the left leg out, foot up to hip level. You can flex the foot if you'd like, but the toes straight down. That helps to keep those hip bones even facing the floor. And then the right arm out right next to your ear. Stretch the foot and the hand away. Keep that core activated, supporting your lower back. And stretch the spine. Hips even toward the floor, so don't lift that leg out to the side. And then hand back down and knee to the floor. And again, go ahead and give a little extended child's pose and just circle the wrist. And then coming back up to table position, we're going to take that a little bit further. So once again, we're going to bring the right leg back up to hip level. Flex that foot, toes pointing straight down. Keep both hips even toward the floor. And then the left arm, opposite arm comes up. Stretch it out. Bend your knee and bring the foot straight up toward the ceiling, but keep the hips even. And then turn the hand toward the ceiling. And we're gonna lift the hand and the foot coming into a little bit of a back bend looking forward. So maximize or minimize, remember personal practice only as far as you need to go, but keep those hips about even so that your torso is facing the floor. And then straighten the arm and the leg, palm toward the floor and hand down, and bend the knee down to the floor right under your hip. And again, we can stretch back and circle the wrist that you were balancing over. And up, and we're going to do the same thing and on the opposite side. So once more, from table position, bring the foot up to hip level, put those toes down, flexing the foot. Hips are even to the floor. And the right arm comes out next to your ear. Bend your foot with the bottom of the foot going straight up to the ceiling. So if that's moving your hip out to the side, remember, turn that hip down toward the floor and then turn the palm toward the ceiling. And we're gonna do our little back bend, looking forward, raising your hand and your foot. Take a moment and breathe. Keep those hips about even. And then straighten the leg, palm toward the floor, hand to the mat, and knee down. And again, sink back and circle your wrists and take a moment to breathe. And then we're going to go up again into table position. So as you get back into table position, this one's going to be a little bit more complicated. So we're going to do a hip opening version of this balance practice. So the first thing you want to do is bring your leg up and again to hip level. And this time we're going to bring the left hand slightly toward the side of the mat and a little bit forward from the other hand. So about at the heel of the palm at the fingertip area. And then we're going to bring the right hand up onto your hip and look over to the side. So yeah, this is totally different. You're opening your hips this time and you're stretching out through either the base of the toes or you can flex that foot and out through the base of the toes. And then bring the hand back down to the floor, hands next to each other, knee back down into table position. And again, go ahead and release through that wrist. And of course, we're going to do the other way. So I'll turn so you can see what I'm doing again. So once more into table position. And remember, we're going to go out to the side this time. So bring your foot up, hip level. You can flex that foot to start with. Bring your hands slightly forward and put your weight into the hand. Bring the other hand up to your hip and face toward the side, giving a little bit of hip opening on this one. So a little bit of a twist. 
Find your balance. And then when you're ready, release the hand to the floor, knee back down, coming into table position, hands right under your shoulders. And again, a stretch back, arms stretching forward, head down. Let's take a moment and release in that extended child's pose. You can circle your wrists. And then inhale, sit up on your heels and come into staff position. So take a moment, just feeling your spine, lots of work there and through that hip midsection area, lots of core activation to keep yourself focused and balanced as we were in our table. So take a moment and breathe. And then we're gonna do our diving dolphin. So again, working the whole spine. Bring your foot up into your left thigh knee out to the side, get those sitting bones slightly behind you, bend your left knee, bring the heel back near your hip. This hip may be up a little bit, that's okay. Stretch your spine apart, exhale, turn toward that right knee, the first one you bend. Hands on the floor or the leg, and we're gonna go into a forward bend as we exhale and down under. So nice rounding of your spine as you bring your forehead down toward your knee. And then rotate face toward the front as you look up, coming up, inhaling to the sun of the sky. Remember, you're the dolphin. Just go through your range of motion, breathing with it, exhaling as you come down, inhaling as you rise up. And just not a lot of pressure in your hands, just letting your spine still do the work today. Exhaling and inhaling, playfully being your dolphin. And then the next time you're up, exhale, turn back to the center and extend your legs back to the front. Sitting bones behind you, spine stretching open, shoulders and shoulder blades down, getting ready to twist to the opposite side as we do our dolphin going the opposite way. So left foot to your inner right thigh, sitting bones behind you, bend your knee, heel back next to your hips, stretch up and exhale, turn toward your left knee, the first one you bend. Hands on the floor or your leg, rounding, pulling those ribs back, tuck the chin, forehead down toward your knee. Inhale, going forward, looking up, sun and sky. And again, getting a nice rotation through your whole spine as you move from the back bend as you come up to the exhaling forward bend as you go down. So just like a dolphin, you wanna breathe in the air and you wanna exhale as you go under the water toward your knee. Splashing and playing, being your favorite little diving dolphin. And as you come again to the top, just pause, lengthen your spine, and exhale, turning back to the center, bringing your legs out and into staff position. And then activate your core, feet to the end of the mat. And we're going to roll slightly, slowly onto our backs, lower back, bottom ribs, shoulder blades, and shoulders all the way down. So take a moment, reclined integration, getting connected to that surface beneath you, and we'll do our final twist for today. So sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down, bring your arms out to T position, palms up, and we're going to do our bent knee twist. So bend your right leg and put the foot on the left side just like you're standing on it. We're rolling all the way to the left side, knee down, and hands together in front of you on the floor. Keep your head down, don't overwork your neck. Get as much on the side of your body on your left side as you can. And then left hand on the right knee to keep the knee on the floor, right arm toward the ceiling, and bring the back of your hand toward the floor behind you. So your hand may not make it to the floor, let it go only as far as it wants to go for that middle back twist. 
Knee down for that lower back twist. If you've got issues there, you can put a pad under your knee so it's not so deep into the twist. And turn your head for your neck area twist. Don't do that if you've got neck issues. So just minimize or maximize however is right for your personal practice. Keep breathing, exhaling tension, and just deepening as much or as little into the twist as your body wants today. Take a few breaths, just relax. And then letting go of your knee, roll onto your back and slide that hip back down next to the other one. Getting ready, of course, to observe your body's response and get ready to twist the other way. So again, keep your hands at shoulder level, so not up by your head or down by your feet. Just straight out to the side, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knee, Put the left foot on the right thigh, getting ready to twist. And again, we're rolling all the way to the side. Head down, hands together, and knee all the way to the floor. Right hand on your left knee. Left hand right above your shoulder. Palm open toward the ceiling as you lower the back of your hand toward the floor behind you. And again, deepen as far as your body wants to go. Your arm may stay up in the air, that's okay. Just go as far as your middle back is willing to go. Knee on the floor as much as you like for that lower back twist. Turn your head, look toward that arm behind you. And again, neck area twist. Take a breath. The more you emphasize the exhalations, remember the more the ligaments release. And the easier it is to move deeper into your twist if you want to. Take a few breaths, just relax. Hand toward the floor, shoulder toward the floor, only as far as your middle back wants to go on this side. It may be totally different from the other side, that's okay. And again, when you're ready to release, hands to the floor, rolling onto your back and sliding that foot near the other one. Readjusting, letting your whole back sink into the surface beneath you. Hands, palms up slightly away from your hips. And just let your shoulders sink down into that surface beneath you. So lots of spine work today. Just go ahead and release any tension in the torso. And we'll start at our toes and feet, kind of circle them around, scrunch them together. Exhale and just release, relaxing your feet. Tighten your legs, getting a little tightness through the calves, through the knees, through the thighs. And then exhale and just relax the lower body. Same thing with the hips and pelvis and buttocks, just tighten there. Take a breath into it, and as you exhale, just relax. Maximize that tightening through your core, through your ribs, through your torso. Tighten it a little bit more. Exhale, and just relax your whole body. Tighten your fists, or your hands into your fists. Stretch your legs and arms away from each other. Really tighten through the arms, through the shoulders. Exhale, let it go. Scrunch your face together, tighten your jaw. Make a face, really scrunch it all together. Exhale and release your face and your jaw and your throat. And then tighten your whole body. Hold your breath a little bit. Tighten it a little bit more. Let the breath go and relax. Just let your whole body soften. Sink it into that surface beneath you and just let everything go. Breathe deep. Exhale any tightness left in your body and just sink deep into that earth surface. Feeling the support. Let your body go. 
And as you breathe more deeply, your body relaxes totally. Allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as those thoughts disappear, know that other thoughts will come to you. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice what you pay attention to. And at this moment, there's no thought you need to remember. Just let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. And as your body relaxes deep into the earth of grace, and your mind floats freely, releasing any awareness, turn that awareness inward. Focus on the peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments and be peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, just relax as long as you have the opportunity. If it's time to activate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. And as you breathe more deeply and stretch more completely, Get ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones towards your heels, draw your heels up towards your hips and your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around and give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its work in yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your feet to the floor, head to the mat. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever is ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.